everybody, so today I'm going to show you my top 10 favorite quick and easy hairstyles. And so for the first one, we are just going to have a little dance party first, and then we're going to take my favorite curl enhancing smoothie and add that mostly to the ends of my hair to get rid of the frizz. And then we are going to section it in the back into like a half up ponytail, but you're, when you're pulling through, you're not going to pull through all the way. And then you're going to go ahead and add a little bow, make it all crazy, and it's okay. It's supposed to be a little more edgy, a lot more voluminous than the rest of them. Alright, and for number two, <laughs> I'm going to be a weirdo. So I'm sectioning my hair, and I'm just going to braid a little bit of the front portion. And I'm adding a bobby pin to the end to secure it. And then I'm doing the same thing on the other side. And I'm going to secure it with another bobby pin, which will come in handy in a second. And then with the remainder of my hair, I'm going to bring it into a half up ponytail. But... <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and make a crisscross with the two braids and add in some more bobby pins to secure it and make it a little more messy and fun. I'm just showing you all the different angles of it. <laughs> Alright, and now for the next one, what we're going to do is wrap the braids around each other into a messy bun. And you're going to go ahead and secure them with some bobby pins. And it's okay, this hairstyle is meant to be a little funky and edgy, so it's able to be that way. A little messy is alright. And if you didn't want to leave your hair down for work or school, you can add a bun to the back of it. Alright, and for the next hairstyle, what you're going to do is pull it into a bun just by wrapping your hair around. Play around with it until you get, you know, your desired look. And then to make it a little you know, more fancy, you're going to add a sparkly headband. <laughs> and now for the next one, you're going to twist from the back and twist from the front until you meet into almost a tornado is what I'm going to call this hairstyle. And then you're going to secure it with an elastic and some bobby pins. And then you're going to go ahead and pull it through. So there it is. It's all twisty full. And I'm adding in some more bobby pins and removing some hair out of it to make it a little more edgy and fun. Alright guys, and for the next hairstyle, what I'm going to do is just twist a part of my hair and adding in more to the twist each time like you would do with a French braid. And then securing it with a bobby pin and doing the same thing on the other side, but this time I'm going a little further until I meet where I feel the bobby pin on that side. And then I'm going to go ahead and secure it into the same type of thing I did before and pull it halfway through the pony holder. And securing it with bobby pins and making it all messy and cute looking, I really liked <laughs> the side of it. Alright, so now for this next one, I'm just doing a side ponytail and adding a little more volume with some bobby pins. And you can leave it like that, or now I'm going to show you how to make it into a fishtail side ponytail. You section out your hair and you just start adding in hair to the center. From each side, I made the, um, the strands of hair that I pulled to the center a little bigger because I wanted more of a full look effect, but you can make it as little or as big as you want for the pieces. And I'm securing it with a hair tie and pulling out some pieces to make it look a little more full. There I am having a dance party again. Alrighty guys, and for the next hairstyle, what I'm going to do is create a ponytail and take a section out from the ponytail and start braiding it into a normal braid or whatever braid you'd like. And then I'm wrapping it around the ponytail holder and 
going to make it a little thicker by pulling out some pieces. And now if you don't want to do anything with your hair, you can go ahead and add a visor or a hat. And then just add on some red lipstick. And the red lipstick will counteract for your crazy hair. And you will be good to go. There's a little dance party. And now I'm about to show you guys a cool little trick I, you know, learned in yoga class. Not sure why. Hey everybody, it's Melanie. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It has been requested a while back and I just got around to make it. And if you guys don't know, I did get accepted into my OTA program, which is Occupational Therapy Assisting. And I've started that, so I've been crazy, crazy busy with it. But it's all good. It'll all be worth it in the end. And <laughs> So that's why I haven't been making videos in like a really long time, but I really want to try to manage my time so that I'm able to make videos. Uh, just leave requests, give me ideas, tell me what you want. Um, what do you want? No, <laughs> tell me what you want to see and I will get around to doing it, I promise. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I hope it gave you some ideas on um, if you're running late or your hair is not cooperating or something like that or if you have to wear your hair up a lot of them were good up hairstyles so yeah especially now my hair's gotten so long I um, like imagine if it was straight right now um, so it's just frustrating to always have it down so I've gotten some uh, hairstyles down so that I'm able to wear it up because in school I have to wear it up because when you're working with patients and you're like bending over them you don't want your hair like all over them <laughs> so you need to have your hair back so these are some great choices for that and for my work my job you don't want your hair in your food so I also wear it up for that so it's actually I like never wear my hair down so these are some great ideas I know some of them like would still be down but for the most part they were up and good to go so thank you guys so much for watching see you later